To talk or not to talk, that is the question. Good morning. The Rebbe said that when two Jews meet, they should immediately try to help a third Jew because two Jews meeting has incredible power to help others. But what if you and someone else have stopped meeting because of an argument? When God told Noah to prepare for the flood that would envelop the world, he said, you need to build an ark and go inside it. The Hebrew word for ark, teva, also means words. If you and another person are enveloped in a flood, the answer is not to disassociate with each other. You need to find a way to communicate and have dialogue with each other to figure things out. The world needs this. This week, we read an additional Torah portion called Para, and the Torah says that when someone has become spiritually impure, the way that they could become pure again is by mixing ashes with water. Ashes represent the end of a thing, and water represents the birth of a thing, because we all are born in water. The Baalei Musar say that When you are in a situation and you want to know the right step forward, think about where you will be at the end of your life. Do you really think that this move is going to be something you will be proud of later? The Hasidic masters say, don't just think about the end of your life. Think about the coming of Mashiach, when the world will be enveloped with love and unity and happiness. Is your discord with this other person really something that's going to help bring Mashiach? Or is a time to go into the words and talk together. I dedicate a minute of prayer today to Aaron Yaakov Levin, honor of his birthday today. May you have a year of bracha v'atzlacha v'gash misav ruchnias. Also I dedicate this to the Rice family in honor of the Brit Milah of their son. May he grow to Torah, Chupa, Masim Tovim. And Acharon, Acharon, Chaviv, I want to dedicate this to a young couple getting married today, Malotov, Yosef, Shmuel, Edelstein, and Yocheved. May your wedding be... Have a wonderful day.